Hey everyone, welcome to a fresh new. We're on our way. That just shows that I'm level. Oh, <laughs> you can put that in your bloopers. Oh, oh Lord, that was funny. Okay, let's start back over again. That's Sorry. a blooper starting it out. Uh, you could have gone anywhere, been. Welcome to a new year of We're On Our Way. Did we not already have this thing? No, that was old stuff. Okay. Then also we did the thing for mom. Okay. And then we've dealt with some other tragedies in our family uh, that's went on. We're not going to talk about that today. We're here to rediscover camping again. Yes, about time. And uh, this was a quick getaway because I messed up. You want to explain how I messed up? Um, I had a doctor's appointment that Rodney made for me in Tennessee. It's a long story, but I've been seeing um, a certain group of physicians for, oh my goodness. 14 years? 14, 15 years, and because uh, we used to live in Tennessee. And uh, so Rodney made this appointment for me. And that day, I, I put in for the time off from work. I put it on my calendar, and um, and it has granted. It was several several weeks ago, and um, so the course of time, Rod, Rodney convinced me that the appointment was the following week, and I didn't check. Um, so um, I got a text from the physician's office reminding me of the appointment. And uh, so here we are, It uh, not realizing we were going to go camping for the entire weekend, but it was Easter weekend. And I can't miss, can't miss Easter Sunday pastor, at my can't church. Miss church. Um, so we did leave after church on Sunday, got up here um, about, what, 6.30 or so. 6.30, a little, they were doing work on 40 to get here. But uh, we're excited about this year. We've just got some new adventures for us, new things going on. We want to thank everyone for doing, you know, the stuff, uh, subscribing, watching, commenting, giving us a thumbs up and sharing. We appreciate it so much. But we are at a new place. Mm -hmm. And we did this. We did see this on Fridays Forever. And we'll tag them in it. I've tried to reach out to them on X I'll have you. just to introduce ourselves. So if you see this, reach out to me on X. Um, but we're here at, and I always say that because you all tell me I never know where I'm at. So I just want to make sure she says exactly where we're at. We're at Buddy Bear um, RV. It's cabins and RV uh, in Sevierville. To, uh, it's a small campground that they are doing some expansion and we're going to show you some footage. We just kind of wanted to introduce you, um, welcome you back to the channel, kind of refresh, trying to start where we've been, um, just kind of recuperating and getting ourselves back on track. But you know how those of you that love to camp, once you started, it gets that going, that bug. And but we're here, as you can look behind Teresa and I. And there is a little, well, little creek. little creek slash almost river running behind us. Uh, we're going to show you around. Our first uh, impression is we love it. Uh, nice. Our camper was easy to hook up. It was level. There's a couple maybe unlevel sites here, but everything else is pretty much you back in and you don't have to do a lot of leveling. It's, it's pretty cool. Uh, they are adding on some campsites. They are uh, building, I believe, a new bathhouse. They're doing a bunch of work, which mm -hmm. I like that, and I believe you all do too. It shows they're investing back into mm -hmm. their campsite. Everything looks very nice. Clean and neat. 
we'll talk about this at the end of the program because we're going to grab some bite to, uh, bite to eat. And we'll show you around here uh, before we go eat a little bit. Then we'll show you some more afterwards. One thing that we do like about here, we had stayed in this area before, mm -hmm. but you couldn't even put your awning out. It was so close. So it was more expensive than what this is. I think mm -hmm. this runs between 70 to $85 a night. It's according to what site you pick out. But uh, if you're going to be in this area, I would recommend this. It's very quiet. Even though you're close to the road, you did hear a fire truck or mm -hmm. something go by, you can hear that. But it's not bad. Mm -hmm. It's it's close to everything, but yet far away where you feel like you're out a little bit. Yeah. But uh, let's look around very quickly. Then let's go grab a bite to eat. And uh, maybe this program will not be as long as usually ours are. But we'll, like I said, grab a bite to eat. I think she wanted to run to Tangler Outlet Mall and look around a little bit. We may take that. We may not. But let's let, give you a quick look around the park here. And again, this evening, we'll talk about this some more before we uh, we kick off for today. We arrived at um, the campsite on Easter Sunday about 6 o'clock and we noticed that they had set up a bouncy house actually in the campsite next to us. And each campsite had a little treat like a coloring book crayons um, for the children. Also they had little plastic eggs with candy in it. I thought that was cool. Um, Rodney's kind of focusing in on Lady Grey, as we would say. You notice um, campsites are relatively large, level, uh, spaced out really well. I mean, you, uh, you could not complain about the size of the campsites. The road that ran uh, behind the campground, you could occasionally hear a siren. Um, there was an ambulance or a, a police car or something of that nature that would, went by, you could hear that. Um, this is up near the fire pit and the pool area, and it was obviously closed in April. It was still, still chilly. Um, and this was sort of the family center that had a deck. There was heaters out there. Um, board games for families to use. I thought that was so cool. There, there was also an antique um, cook stove up there that you could look at. Very family-oriented campground. A dog park. Um, available for those that travel with pets and you'll notice the farm implements that they have spread around um, these are two of the cabins that were available for rent and the gated um, entry exit to enter into the campground there is a little slope when you come in but the gate stays up long enough for you to get your camper cleared and right now there was just two cabins. The um, temporary office, which is um, this building, will eventually, after the expansion is complete, will be uh, moved to another site for um, available for rentals. At the time of our stay, there was firewood. Um, they used the honor system. Uh, you cannot, it's a, it's a law in this area that you have to purchase wood from your campground. You can't bring it in from other states. Ice was not available. Rodney's pointing out the uh, lamp post. I thought these were so cute and it, it just makes it feel safer. You could walk really late in the evening, um, which we enjoyed to do. Um, these are some of the pull through sites. Notice how large um, they are, and we thought this was particularly uh, poignant. This is how much, you know, they care for the children. They don't want people to be driving through the sites, and you'll notice on some of the footage, you'll see a cone at the end, um, and that's just so people can't pull back and forth. There's our eagle's nest. This was something we thought was so fascinating. We, in, uh, we were watching to spot the eagles. Also, they're adding on to the campsite. Yeah, the, the expansion. That's a, um, a thing they pull um, children uh, with. Did they say that they use the golf cart? Yes. Golf cart with that. Kayak rentals. Um, obviously, you would want to do that, I think, when it got a little warmer. But those of you that want to brave that. 
Those are tandem sites. So um, if you're traveling with somebody, you could uh, rent that site. Again, you're going to see this a little bit later. That is the Eagle's Nest. Look how big. Those things are humongous. And they're, they are pretty loud. I mean, they make themselves make themselves known, but they're so beautiful in flight. Then we decide to go somewhere to eat. And this was Busting Butts Barbecue, just three or four minutes from the campground. And boy, I tell you, you could smell that. They smoke their own uh, barbecue there. We were um, doing the keto diet at this time. So I highly recommend those that are doing that. The, the meat was delicious. Now there's no sugar-free barbecue sauce. We had brought our own. You're limited if you're going to be on a keto diet to the smoked green beans. And you have to eat outside, there's no inside. Yeah, no eating. inside dining. Also they have, as uh, I guess when they sell um, tomatoes and stuff, they have oh, a place like, where uh, they do that. Produce. Yes, they have a produce place. Um, and there was also coleslaw, baked beans, potato salad. Um, the only thing I didn't like was the pickles. Um, just weren't, weren't that good. And again, they we do it all right it. there. Yeah. Well, Teresa brought these, bought these, brought these. She bought these a while ago with the pork that we got. So we'll let you know what it tastes like in a few moments. Okay. Tell them what we got. <laughs> You're eating. That was a that was a timely thing. We got um as we're kind of watching our carbs. We got half brisket, half pork, and these are smoked green beans. And then we put our own sugar free barbecue sauce on. The meat is very good. I have not tasted the green beans yet. And then you bought some pickles. The pickles are okay. Okay. I'll let you know what I think here in a few moments. Did you say they were okay? Is what you said? They're okay. Not bad. No. Not bad at all. So which one did you try first of the meat? You try both I already? Put them, but yeah, both. And the green beans are very good too. Okay. Take this. Mmm. Looks good. You smell Part of the highlight of this camping trip was being an eagle watcher. Um, we weren't aware that there was an eagle's nest when we made this reservation and, and Rodney happened to catch footage of what we believe they're, they're mating. Um, they are so majestic in flight, we would uh, watch them uh, soar down the, the creek there. Or that, is that the Pigeon River? I don't know the name. We, <laughs> we should have looked. We should have uh, made reference to that, but it was just so fascinating. Several of the campers um, had binoculars and timed their day because they're more active in the morning and kind of later, around six in the evening, uh, just to hear them. I mean, it was just so fascinating. There he is. Oh, he's home for the There he goes. Perfect shot. Eagles in flight. To its nest. Now this is site 15. Sides, site uh, 14. But in this site, if you had a couple that kind of wanted to camp together and have a big area here in the front, or if you just wanted site 14 yourself, this is what you get. Get all, you know, picnic table and all that stuff there. But look at your view that you would see every morning when you got up. So this one here, site 14, is probably the best site in it. Uh, so I would definitely recommend this if you could get it. We 
wanted to show you some footage at night so that you can see how well lit the campground is. Uh, we felt so safe in this uh, campground. Children were out, families were out, um, and that's the activity, the family center that you see there, how well lit it is, so that you can go over and still play games, enjoy the outdoors. This is a hidden gem to us. Um, you're far enough away from the touristy area to not be in that hustle and bustle, uh, the noise levels down. But um, for the, the cost of the, the campsites, the amenities, how friendly the manager is, she made sure your, your stay was special. They, they drive around on their golf cart. They actually care, um, want your opinion, want to talk to you. They want, they want you to feel like you want to come back. And a lot of times you don't have that with the campground. And they're pushing family and they want not only you to come, they eventually want it word, to be yeah, a word of mouth. history yes. where your kids will want to come back. That you just keep wanting to come back. And uh, we will definitely, definitely be coming back. Um, some of the footage you're going to see here is the family center lit At up. Night. That you nice. notice there's a TV. Um, this is what we were talking about, that there's board games available, basketball. So we highly recommend this. Book it now.